Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how postal organisations can create new inbound and outbound declarations in the CDS web application. Creating inbound and outbound declarations in CDS are very similar tasks. Although each of the two operations has its own function in the CDS application interface, the steps for creating the declarations are essentially the same. In fact, you only need to create inbound declarations if you haven't received an electronic declaration, or ITMAT, from your postal partner operator. So in this example, we will only look at entering outbound declarations. We will begin by opening the Create Declaration for Outbound Item at Post function in CDS. To begin the declaration, we need to enter the mail item ID. We can enter it manually or by scanning the S10 identifier from the item label. If we know declaration data has already been created for this item in CDS Kiosk, we can click the Fill from Anonymous Declaration button to pull all the information across based on the declaration ID supplied by the customer. For more information on this, you can watch the video on reconciling anonymous declarations to S10 available on this site. In this example, we will fill in the declaration fields manually. We start with the general information. The destination country, the postal operator and the class of the mail item. You will note that the mail class is pre-filled for you based on the service indicator, which is the first two letters of the S10 identifier. We'll also enter the posting date, a local ID if we have one, and the mail state. Note that this initial mail state can be updated by the CDS API if you have set up an interface between CDS and IPS. Changes in mail state can be pushed by IPS to CDS at regular intervals as the mail item progresses through the outbound flow. This is particularly useful for operators who have chosen to send ITMAT only in specific circumstances, such as when a mail item has been posted in the CDS organisation preferences. For more information on interfacing CDS with IPS, see the CDS installation guide. Before we move on to the details of the declaration itself, let's just check the declaration status in this section of the page. This is a new declaration. Now we'll fill in the sender and recipient details. When you type the name, if this is a frequently entered customer, you can select previously used address details from the list. Next, we add details of the content. Note that the fields and features available in this section may vary according to your local system configuration. By default, the origin country and currency are filled in for you. In each content line, we first specify the quantity and the description of the content item. Next, we specify the HS code. HS codes are the standard codes used by customs to categorise content. We specify the HS code in the revised HS code field if there is no existing HS code in the HS code field from an inbound declaration, for example. We can also add a revised HS code to correct the code in the HS code field. Then we add the weight and the value of the item. If we want to add more than three content pieces, we can simply click the plus icon here. We can also batch delete the content pieces by clicking delete all CP. In the other section, we need to add the nature of the transaction associated with the mail item and its total gross weight in kilos. We can also add other information such as the handling class, insured value, the cost of postage and the method and date of transportation. We will now add reference information for any documentation we will attach to the declaration, such as IDs, certificates or other supporting documents from a predefined list in the accompanying documents section. 
To add details of a document, click Edit. Add the details of the document. Then update when you've finished. You can add up to three accompanying documents. The final step is to specify what we want to do with our declaration. In this example, we are going to save the declaration as a draft. We could do this by selecting Action 1. When we're ready to finalise the declaration, we simply reopen it and create declaration for outbound item at post by entering the item ID to display the existing declaration. We can then update any details and finish by choosing Action 2 to move the declaration to a final state. Declarations in a final state are automatically transferred as CUS item to the local customs or as IT map to the destination post if relevant automatic transfer rules are configured. For more information about this, you can check the product help or watch the CDS basic configuration for IT map generation video linked below. CDS has some built-in declaration validation from CDS version 2020 SP1 onwards. Whenever you create a new customs declaration, CDS validates the declaration to check that all the required fields for IT mat generation are complete before storing the declaration as final and generating the IT mat. If the form has missing or wrong data, CDS stores the declaration as draft. You need to edit the declaration to correct the data before you can set it to final and generate the IT mat. Note that this only applies to new CDS installations from version 2020 SP1 onwards, not upgrades. The two actions we just described are not the only options. We can also manually send it to customs for checking, for example, by selecting action 6. We can also delete the declaration by choosing action 8. The actions available depend on the current declaration state. We're now going to store the declaration. If the declaration is complete, you can also click Store and Print CN23. Note that if the mail item is a letter below 2 kilograms, by default a CN22 will be printed instead of a CN23.